people hear the American Boy Choir often for the first time, and usually they're hearing boys singing in a, in a fine choir for the first time. And they're always amazed that such sounds are possible. There's a clarity in the sound. There is a, uh, a, a straightforwardness that I think characterizes what it is to be American. the boy choir when they came to my hometown in Harrisonburg, Virginia, and, um, and I wanted to audition. We were taken to hear a concert, um, and after I heard that first piece, I wanted in. We invite boys after concerts to come and audition for the music director who has led that concert. Dr. Litton asked if anyone wanted to try out, come up on stage after the concert, and I figured I had nothing to lose, so. These require no preparation. They take about three minutes, and they primarily test the ear. First tune. Good. Now I'm going to play two notes. There's a top note and a bottom note. Sing the top note. Now the bottom note. Can they hear the uh, relationship between notes and sing it back? Can they pick their part out of, uh, of a stack of notes? <laughs> The voice usually isn't trained, but we can usually tell if it's trainable and quickly. I think the most important thing is a particular look in the eyes. And if a boy has a sort of spark in the eyes, you can, you can realize in three seconds if he's going to be the right person. After a successful audition, we ask the boy and his parents to visit the school for a full day. And at that time, we take a look at academic ability and very importantly, social ability. Upon coming to the school, I found out about how people counted on me so much more, and I had to count on myself a lot more. They're away from their parents and they're away from the typical mom taking care of them, helping them get dressed, showing them what to wear in the morning. At first it was a little difficult. I had to manage all of my own things without mom and dad there to do it for me. You have to take your laundry down on your laundry day. You have to clean your room every morning. You have to shower every morning, and you have to be prompt on time for breakfast. The challenge for children this age in coming to a boarding school is to cultivate the sense of self-reliance. Good morning, gentlemen. Let's start the day by getting our voices going with some scales. On the solfege, please. One, two, ready. <laughs> The sound of the choir is very special because it's made up of boys of a very limited age range. The beginning boys are 10, sometimes 9, and then the oldest boy is always 14. So it's a, it's a particular period in a boy's life that produces a particular sound in the voice. and my family sings, no one else I know really sings, but I do, so it's kind of my thing to do. When I came here, I thought I was probably going to be in one of the touring cars, which unfortunately was a mistake because, as you might know, first we go through training before we go on to concerts and touring, and, well, I had to live with that, although I really wanted to be in the touring choir. We have two touring choirs, which both tour as the American Boy Choir, and they both sing essentially the same repertoire. And there's a third choir, which we call the Resident Training Choir, and these are our fifth grade boys and other first year boys. In my office, 
I'm just at the top of the grand staircase in this old mansion that we call home. And in the afternoon, the resident training choir rehearses at the foot of those stairs. And over the course of the year, to hear the improvement they make, to hear the joy they take in singing, to hear an exceptionally talented teacher like Craig Dennison bringing them along gives me a measure of satisfaction that is difficult for me to describe. When I start the year, I'm struck immediately by the desire that each boy possesses to be at the school making the kind of music that we make. And you can feel it in the room. In this piece, Sure on This Shining Night, what key are we in? Yes, Misha. They are all very excited at what the future holds for them. My first goal is to bring them together as a unit and, and have them understand their interdependence on each other, that they, uh, that they need to be alert to each other's sound. You need to make sure that you do the all is healed open instead of ah that way. It's, it's happening and it it's tends, to, tends to happen over here. It's profoundly non-competitive. Ah, it is a cooperative you undertaking. People will count on you and you have to live up to that. And so it's just a large thing of trust between two people, or 80, two people. He looks to his left, and he looks to his right and he gets a sense of what's expected, and he rises to what's expected. The first day I was here, homesickness was um, a big problem for me, and like, um, I, I had stomach pains. When I first came in fifth grade, I was pretty young, and it was hard. The kids around help out if you're homesick, and they just tell you things about how when they got homesick. Probably the house parents were, were, were the people that were most supportive of me in the process of getting over the homesickness. Sometimes you're just so busy you don't have time to be homesick. You really get used to it and are pretty much thankful for the homesickness because you learn from it. This is a tremendous emotional sacrifice that, that parents make. And the alumni who come back invariably say that it was worth the experience, and parents agree that it was worth the sacrifice. My son's relationship with the faculty and with the staff is, is wonderful, and part of that is, is by virtue of being a very small, family-like atmosphere. I think it's just a tremendously happy and, and good feeling here, uh, one, of, one of great family. I wouldn't have made that move, but... What are the three primary objectives? in the early part of the game. I feel very safe having been here. It's a very good place for him to be. Yeah. We do our very best to make things feel like, feel like home. After a while, they start to call it home. And on the tour bus, they say, we can't wait to get home. And home is the Boyd Fire School for them. See you, babe. He's got it. Five eighths is equal to 10 sixteenths, and the missing number is 10. OK, number 27, Foster. Three fourteenths is equal to six sevenths. Ooh, okay. Now what you want to do with this one is you want to talk yourself through it. And then maybe you can find out where you went wrong. My old school, it was more of like, six. here's your homework. Yes. So but three, here it's three, more, you have more of a friendship with your teachers. Okay. And instead of going to another class, it's more like visiting a friend and it's a lot better way to learn, I think. 
One of the greatest things is to receive a letter from a former student telling us how much we've affected his life. A combination of the high level of motivation on the part of the kids, incredible dedication on the part of the faculty, right. small yeah, classes allow us to accomplish a great deal in a relatively why. short period so, of time. The world will little know or, or little remember what I have here to say today. Little note nor long remember. Exactly right. One of those, uh, one of those ironic things that we're all studying the Gettysburg Address and no one remembers is Edward Everett, the main speaker of the day. About half of our boys go back to their public high school and frequently enter advanced placement courses. The other half go on to some of the finest independent secondary schools in the country. What the boys learn as human beings through the discipline of their choral training stands them in good stead. And we get many, many responses from those private secondary schools that our boys are extraordinarily well prepared for the rigors of their academic programs. If one of my friends were to ask me about coming here, I'd probably ask them if they think they could commit themselves to the schedule and the rehearsing over and over again and the academics. If you think that you should, you would, we would like to be educationally or academically challenged, um, this would be a great, great experience. You also get to travel around the world. Are you going from a bigger unit to a smaller unit or from a smaller unit to a bigger unit? A smaller unit to a I would definitely recommend the school, but they have to be prepared to come and leave their parents and to change their life and have to adapt to other things. If one of my friends asked me about school life uh, here at the American Boy Corps School, I definitely tell them that it's an experience I'll never forget, and if you want to go, go for it. It would be nice for them to be here also because it's just a great experience, and anyone that can should uh, have the chance to be here. One of the highlights for me is taking the boys on a field trip or to a soccer game or to a basketball game and on the way back in the bus they will break into a song of thanks to me for driving and it's just it's astonishing I mean where else in America would would boys just spontaneously break into a song to thank their headmaster The first time I heard my, my son sing in the choir was just a tremendous experience. It's lots of fun to make people happy and to just to see their faces light up when you sing like one of their favorite songs. I didn't realize how much power there was in the singing. You know, it's, it was quite a burst of power. We create an environment where high standards are the norm, where excellence is expected, but where we give the students the ability to achieve. We then give them a forum in the concerts to display all of their hard work and to achieve the public recognition which builds their self-esteem. It is an absolute perfect mode for middle school education. Find something that the kids are good at, surround it with their academics. The American Boy Choir School is unique because it places music 
an art form at the very center of its academic curriculum. Everything else springs from that central focus. And the choral art form, particularly well, integrates many forms of personal growth. I'm just going to give a couple of instructions before we go in. We're going to go in. Your vestment will be handed out. Who's number six? Cognitive skills, physical skills, emotional skills in learning how to express emotion and the centrality of emotion to human life, social skills, how to cooperate, how to work in groups. Traditional values, uh, good old-fashioned manners, and character development. This is a place that stresses honesty, integrity, uh, mutual respect, trust, self-discipline, and just common decency. The regard that you must have for the person singing next to you uh, extends into, into daily life. We encourage that. We respect these boys as artists. They are making very, very beautiful music. They know that the focus is on their development. We work hard to make them grow as musicians and as people. The boys grow and prosper and, and they go out into the world as confident young men. I love the American Boy Choir School. It's made me, in many ways, the man I am today. How do I feel about it? It's wonderful. These kids are just the best. They're the finest boys I've ever worked with in 30 years. There are people who bond together and work together. They come together on an emotional level. They come together on a musical level. And these people, a lot of them are 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 years old. Yet, they come together and make something that is exquisitely beautiful. Not just the music, though that's a major part of it and a major vehicle, but much of the beauty has to do with the community and the people being together and spirits touching spirits. And they're not, that doesn't happen everywhere in this world, and that is what makes this place so special. We make music here, and we celebrate here, and we know each other in ways that words don't express. I live in an apartment where I open the window, and I see the neighborhood, and I know everyone in the neighborhood, and I know what everyone in the neighborhood feels because I make, have made music with them. I know how they think about life because I know how they make music. I love it here. <laughs>